Welcome back. Let us go through a very interesting classical encryption technique which is known as a four square cipher. So this is a digraph and is a substitution cipher. Now what is a substitution cipher? Just like what we do in Caesar cipher where a given alphabet is substituted with another alphabet. If you do remember the letter A was replaced by another alphabet D and so on. So this was what happened in Caesar cipher. So that is a substitution cipher where each alphabet was replaced by another. So even here this is a substitution cipher but this is a digraph. So what is a digraph? We consider two alphabets of the plain text and we obtain two alphabets of the cipher text. Now as the name suggests there are four squares. Phi cross phi each. Right? So we have four squares and each square is of order phi cross phi. So let us see what these squares are. So two squares are known as plain text squares. So we have two squares which are known as plain text squares. And there are two other texts which squares which are known as ciphertext squares. Okay. So I have four squares. So the top left and the bottom right are plain text squares. Whereas the upper right and the bottom left are the ciphertext squares. Okay. Now in order to get the ciphertext, we need two keywords. So let me consider two keywords. Example. And the other one is keyword. Now each square is a phi cross phi matrix and I need to write all the alphabets of English in a phi cross phi matrix. And we know that there are 26 alphabets. So what we do is here we shall eliminate or we shall skip the alphabet Q. Okay. So there are two ways. Either you skip the alphabet Q or you write I and J in one box or in one square. So it's up to you. So we should follow one of them. So we should skip the alphabet Q. So now let me write the plain text square. So what do I do? I write the alphabets in order. Okay. So distinct, to distinguish between the plain text squares and the cipher text squares. So I will write the plain text squares alphabets in smaller case, in lower case. So I have A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and J, then you have K, L, M, N, O, P. So Q is eliminated, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Okay, so this is the plain text square. And similarly, I write the plain text square here. So the upper left and the bottom right form the plain text square. So I again write the alphabets from A, B, C, D, E and so on. <clears throat> so once I finish the plain text squares, now I need to write the cipher text squares. So we have two keywords. So I consider one of the keywords here. So let me first consider example. So again I write all the alphabets present in the keyword without any repetition. And then I write the remaining alphabets in order. So in order to distinguish the plain text and cipher text, let me write this, the alphabets present in the cipher text square in cap in uppercase as uppercase alphabets. So I have E, X, A, M, P. Then I have L. A is already here. B, C, D, E is here. <coughs> Then I have F, G, H, I, J, K, L is here, M. Then I have N, O, P, Q is eliminated. Then I have R, S, T, U, V, W, X is here, Y and Z. So I get one of the ciphertext squares by considering one of the keywords. So here I've considered example. Then I consider the next keyword 
which is keyword itself. So I write the alphabets without repetition in uppercase. So I have K E Y W O R D. Right? So none of the alphabets repeat. So now I write all the remaining alphabets in order starting from A. So I have A, B, C, D is here, E, F, G, H, I, J, K is here. Then I have L, M, N, O is here, P, Q is eliminated, R is here, then I have S, T, U, V, W is here, X, Y is here, and then I have Z. Okay, so now I have got all the four squares. So again, let me repeat, in order to get the cipher text using a four square cipher, what do we do? We write two squares, the upper left and the bottom right squares are called as plain text squares, wherein we write all the alphabets in order eliminating Q. So that is what we have done. So you can choose another option where you write I and J as one alphabet considering Q. And then we have the cipher text square. So we need to consider two keywords for encryption. So I have considered two words. One is example, the other one is keyword. So using example, I write all the alphabets present in this keyword without repetition and all the remaining alphabets in order. Next, I consider the second keyword, write all the alphabets without repetition and write all the remaining alphabets in order to get this ciphertext square. So I've got two ciphertext squares. So now let me consider a plain text. So let the plain text be help me. So I have H-E-L-P-M-E. Now this four square cipher is a digraph. That means I need to divide the entire plain text into groups of two alphabets. Okay, so the first group I consider is H and E. Right? So now we let us observe where H is present in the plain text square. So I have H present here. And then let me find out where E is present in the plain text square. So what we do always is that this is the plain text alphabet, right? So the first alphabet, I find out where it is present here. So H is present here. The second alphabet in the second plain text square, which is E. Okay, so now I need to replace for H. So for H, I consider the row and column. So H is present in the second row, isn't it? So this is actually 10 rows and 10 columns, if I consider all the four squares. So now this H is present in row 2 and E is present in column 10. Correct? So there are 10 rows and 10 columns. Okay, so now let me consider row 2. So row 2 and column 10. What is the alphabet present? The alphabet present is F. So therefore H is replaced by the alphabet F. Is that as simple as that? Okay. So now let me consider, now I need to replace E, isn't it? So for E, I consider the row position of E, right? So E is present in row, this is the sixth row, 5 plus 1 is 6, row 6. And consider the column here. So column is 3. Okay, so now consider row 6. This is row 6. And column 3 is this one. It corresponds to Y. So H E is replaced by F Y. It's as simple as that. So now let's consider L and P. So if you have not followed, let's Try to do it again. So L and P. So where is L and P? These are plain text alphabets, isn't it? These are plain text alphabets. So I consider again these two squares. So find out where L is present. L is present here. 
and P I need to search here so P is present here so find out where the first alphabet is present in the first plain text square the upper left and the second alphabet where it is present in the bottom right square so P is present here okay so to get the cipher text of L consider row of H and column of sorry find the row of L and the column of P isn't it because the plain text is LP so to find the plain text of L find the row of L and column of P so row of L is 3 and column of P is definitely 6 so now consider row 3 so this is row 3 and column 6 right so when I consider row 3 and column 6 what is the alphabet I get I get G so L is replaced by G now to find the plain text for P find row P and column of L so row P so row of P is, it is 9 okay and then column of L is 2 so now check row 9 so this is row 9 and so row 9 is here and column 2 column 2 corresponds to M row 9 and column 2 which is M so therefore the ciphertext of P is M so let's take the next one which is M E so I have the plain text which is M E So again check M and E in the upper left and the bottom right squares. So let's see where they are. So M and E. So we find that the alphabet M is present here and the alphabet E is present here. Okay. So now to get the ciphertext of M, find the row of M and column of E. Right. So row of M is 3 and the column of E is 10. Okay, so now consider row 3 and column 10, the alphabet, the corresponding alphabet is K. So the ciphertext is K. Next, consider the row of E here, right? So this is the alphabet which we need to find. So therefore, the row of E is 6 and the column of M. So column of M is 3. So therefore, row 6 and column 3 corresponds to the alphabet Y. Okay, so we have got these ciphertext alphabets. So therefore, if help me is the plain text, what is the ciphertext? The ciphertext is F, Y. G, M and then K, Y. Okay, so this is how we can get the ciphertext by using four square cipher. Now, how do we decrypt it? To decrypt it, we follow the, all the steps in reverse order and we'll be able to get back the plain text. Okay, so this is a digraph and in a digraph, the frequency analysis is much more difficult, right? So it is not as easy as in a monoalphabetic substitution cipher where you can use frequency characteristics and predict the plain text but when we use digraphs it's much more difficult right so it is a very interesting cipher much more interesting and complicated compared to a playfair cipher so those of you who have gone through playfair cipher you would realize that it is very similar right where we use one keyword and we get a matrix like this and we have again the plain text Right? And based on the position of the alphabets present in the encryption matrix, phi cross phi matrix, we get the ciphertext. But here in case of four square cipher, we use two keywords and we use four phi cross phi matrices and therefore this process is much more complicated when we consider the Playfair cipher. Right? So I hope you have followed the entire procedure. 
and please do like, share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of further uploads and thanks for watching.